Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime Time, and now the headlines. Five people on board of Coast Guard aircraft died after a runway collision with a Japan, Japan Airlines plane at Tokyo's Haneda Airport, the country's transport minister said. Seven security personnel, including four police commandos and three BSF soldiers, were injured in the gunfight between suspected insurgents in Manipur's border town, Morin. Amid speculations of the JDU chief being upset with the opposition bloc, the top leaders of the INDI alliance and the Bihar chief minister Nitish Kumar are likely to hold discussions virtually on Tuesday, sources said. And now the news in detail. Five people on board a Coast Guard aircraft died after a runway collision with a Japan Airlines plane at Tok Tokyo's Haneda Airport, the country's transport minister said. Regarding the Coast Guard plane, we have been informed that the captain escaped and five people were confirmed dead, Tetsuo Saito said as per news agency AFP. Meanwhile, all 379 passengers and crew of a Japan Airlines plane escaped the fire that erupted after it collided with the Coast Guard aircraft. Public broadcaster NHK showed the aircraft erupt in flames while rescue crews attempted to control the blaze. Japan Prime Minister Fumio Kishida instructed relevant agencies to coordinate to assess the damage swiftly, according to his office. The Japan Coast Guard said it was investigating the possibility that one of its aircraft collided with a passenger jet. Five out of the six crew of the Coast Guard aircraft who were unaccounted for following the crash were later found, news agency Reuters reported, quoting NHK. The pilot was evacuated, it added. Haneda has closed all runways following the incident, a spokesperson for the airport said as per news agency Reuters. The plane, an Airbus A350JAL Flight 516, which flew out of Shin Chitose Airport, burst into flames on the runway of Tokyo's Haneda Airport. It is reported to be hit by another aircraft after landing possibly a Japan Coast Guard plane. NHK footage showed large eruptions of fire and smoke from the side of the Japan Airlines plane as it taxied on a runway. The plane was then entirely engulfed in fire. All the 367 passengers plus 8 toddlers and 12 crew on board the plane were safely evacuated, an airline spokesperson said as per Bloomberg. Seven security personnel, including four police commandos and three BSF soldiers, were injured in the gunfight between suspected insurgents in Manipur's border town, More. The security personnel were said to be in a critical state and they have been airlifted to an Imphal hospital for treatment. This comes after four people were shot dead and several others injured in Manipur on New Year's Day, following which curfew was reimposed in the five valley districts of the state. Speaking to media persons, Manipur Chief Minister Biren Singh said that the state and central forces are working together to counter such attacks and that search and combing operations are underway. We are having some doubt of involvement of foreign mercenaries from Myanmar's side, he said. It is our commitment to the people of the state and the country that we will not succumb to such threats and pressures, he added. <laughs> Hello, 
Live TV to go me. State police key. State police key. Personal Mari. I'm not live for the key. I'm serious injury. You wait there. Even bulletproof vehicles penetrate or go. Sanga Gapanba. I don't know why. Ziki terrorists in the cookie terrorists in the scenery. We see. I am a sophisticated weapon Even we have seen some of the videos leaked from the the militants uh, terrorist group. I am a sophisticated weapon sing the government. Where the government? Where we the central forces and the SS forces? Uh, we are countering them. And now search operation and combing operation is widely going on. Reinforcement has been sent. And uh, uh, we are having some doubt of involvement of foreign mercenary from the Myanmar side. And uh, the, it is our commitment to the people of the state and the people of the India will not succumb to this kind of threat and pressures. We will take necessary possible measures to counter such terrorist activities. Right now we cannot say, but earlier, uh, two days back, two were killed and four were injured. Uh, not fully confirmed. But uh, reliable sources. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are, we are, we, are, we have been reported and uh, we uh, from many sources. The mercenaries from the Myanmar side, KNAB, are have in, involvement of their involvement. Their involvement is highly, you know, possible. Okay. Sir, you don't you feel that it's a high sir. time for the state government to oppose the central government? No, we, have, we are in touch with the uh, ministry, the central government. Uh, what we were doing and what we were going on in the Moray and the other part of the uh, state area is with the concern and with the uh, approval of the central government. And the operation is going on jointly with state security force and the central forces. Are there so any fear chance of you see advocating the uh, suit? I can say right now, sir. <laughs> we'll be right back after a short break, so stay tuned for more news. Tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Nowadays, everyone is purchasing Amrit Sam. Why won't they buy? Quality, the best. Price, the best. Technical service, that too is the best. And on top of that, the strength of CSH gel. Even mm. Engineer Saab was talking about it. What is it? It is like Amrit for homes. See here, foundation, roof, lentil. CSH gel adds life to every dhalai. With Amrit Sem, your home becomes immortal. When the whole country is building with Amrit Sem, what are you waiting for, Janab? Amrit Sem powered by CSH gel. Har dhalai ki jaan. Dar mat. Tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Nowadays, everyone is purchasing Amrit Sem. Why won't they buy? Quality, the best. Price, the best. Technical service, that too is the best. And on top of that, the strength of CSH gel. Even mm. Engineer Saab was talking about it. What is it? It is like Amrit for homes. See here, foundation, roof, lentil. CSH gel adds life to every dhalai. With Amrit Sem, your home becomes immortal. When the whole country is building with Amrit Sem, what are you waiting for, Janab? Amrit Sem powered by CSH gel. Har dhalai ki jaan. Dar mat. Tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Nowadays, everyone is purchasing Amrit Sam. Why won't they buy? Quality, the best. Price, the best. Technical service, that too is the best. And on top of that, the
It only takes one prick of a needle to save lives. Get tested for HIV. Darmat, tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Hello Nortis, Physicswala Guwahati is here for your dreams to be fulfilled as an engineer or a doctor with Physicswala Vidya Peet, where experience are mentored by experienced faculties with personalized doubt classes along with recorded lectures for revision. Apne sapno ko de pang PW ke sang. Darmat, tiger hai na? Black Tiger Cement. Welcome back. At least 48 people were confirmed killed after a series of earthquakes, including a power fence of neighboring Nagano Prefecture. Meanwhile, the Japanese government said that as of Monday night, it had ordered around 100,000 people in nine prefectures on the western coast of Japan's main island Honshu to evacuate. They were set to spend the night in sports halls and school gymnasiums, commonly used as evacuation centers in emergencies. People returning to get their wallets and other belongings have been known to be swept away and drowned even hours after the first evacuation warning. People were evacuated to stadiums where they will likely have to stay for a few days. Amid speculations of the JDU chief being upset with the opposition bloc, the top leaders of the INDI alliance and the Bihar chief minister Nitish Kumar are likely to hold discussions virtually on Tuesday, sources said. They further said that senior Congress leaders likely to propose to make Kumar the convener of the opposition bloc, considering his important role in the alliance. Several top leaders, including Congress Chief Malikarjun Kharge, will participate in the discussion on the Zoom app. Meanwhile, national presidents of major parties of INDIA alliance are also likely to join. According to sources, the Congress has also taken consent from RJD leader Tejasvi Yadav and Samajwadi Party leader Akhilesh Yadav regarding this matter. Discussions have already taken place with Sharad Pawar and Uddhav Thakre as well, they added. After the fourth meeting of the INDI alliance held in New Delhi, reports about Nitish Kumar being upset started surfacing. It was said that Kumar's name was to be proposed for the Prime Minister's post, but Mamta Banerjee and Arvind Kejriwal put forward the name of Malikarjan Kharge, which left the JDU chief displeased. In addition to Kumar, RJD chief Lalu Prasad Yadav also did not appear happy after the meeting. On December 19, the fourth meeting of the opposition bloc took place in the national capital and was attended by leaders from 28 parties. Congress leader K.C. Venugopal told reporters that the seat-sharing talks would start without delay and there is a proposal for joint rallies also. The alliance led by the Congress took shape with the primary objective of mounting a combined challenge to the BJP-led National Democratic Alliance in the upcoming general elections. The first meeting of the joint opposition convened in Patna on June 23rd and the second meeting was held in Bengaluru on July 17 to 18. The third meeting happened in Mumbai on August 31st, September 1st. Drivers continue to protest against the transport law across India. Its effect is continuously being seen in Barak district of Uttar Pradesh, where all the fuel pumps in the city have run out of oil and those that have not, a long queue of vehicles is being seen. The manager of the fuel pump told that their tankers are standing since yesterday and the drivers are not ready to take the vehicle. The drivers say that if they take the tanker, then the truck drivers will be beaten. The drivers protesting said that the new law is absolutely wrong and it should be withdrawn. The government is facing a lot of problems. In Haryana, which has made its own identity at the national and international level in the field of sports, now sports infrastructure will be developed in every village so that the sports talents of the youths can be nurtured from childhood. 
In this regard, Chief Minister Manohar Lal has given instructions to prepare a plan for opening specialized high power performance centers to train youths in popular sports according to the region. In these centers, training will be given in only one spot so that the youth can become proficient in that spot as per their interest and can bring glory to the state and the country at the international level. Lal Qatar held a meeting with the sports department in Chandigarh on Tuesday regarding the roadmap for developing new infrastructure for sports in Haryana. He said that the intention of the state government is to strengthen the sports infrastructure in every region. For this, it is very important to provide training in the sports which are popular according to the region. The instructions were given that sports nurseries should also be created in the villages according to the popular sports and demand, so that the foundation of the children can be strengthened from childhood itself. He also directed that the infrastructure developed for sports and villages by the sports department and panchayat department should also be mapped so that infrastructure can be developed in every area as per the need. The CM said medal winning players who have got jobs under the outstanding sports persons policy should also be encouraged to run sports nurseries to make the youth talented in their respective sports. CM further directed the sports department to prepare a list of sports persons including popular and small level players. He said that many times players playing at small level do not get a chance to play in big tournaments. Hence, the government will give full opportunity to such players to move forward. We'll be right back after a short break, so stay tuned for more news. टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट जैसे जैसे उत्तराखंड में नए अवसर बन रहे हैं वैसे वैसे अनेक साथी गांव लौटने लगे डबल इंजन सरकार का प्रयास है कि गांव वापसी का ये काम तेजी से हो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी के मार्गदर्शन और मुख्यमंत्री पुष्कर सिंह धामी के कुशल नेतृत्व में ग्राम्य विकास की महत्वपूर्ण योजनाएं नए आयाम तय कर रही हैं। तीन दयाल उपाध्याय ग्रामीण कौशल योजना के तहत नजदीकी ब्लॉक में गरीब परिवार के युवकों को निशुल्क कौशल प्रशिक्षण देकर नियमित मासिक आय वाले रोजगार और स्वरोजगार के अवसर उपलब्ध कराए जा रहे हैं दीन दयाल उपाध्याय कौशल विकास योजना के तहत हमारे ब्लॉक तथा हमारे आसपास के रिमोट एरिया के युवक और युवतियों को जो कि जरूरतमंद है उनको रोजगार के अवसर उपलब्ध हो रहे हैं श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी रूरबन मिशन के तहत उत्तराखंड राज्य को तीन चरणों और छह क्लस्टर में चयनित किया गया है योजना के अंतर्गत विभिन्न घटकों जैसे सड़क कृषि विकास आजीविका संवर्धन स्ट्रीट लाइट और शिक्षा में कार्य किया जा रहा है मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी का जो सपना है कि उत्तराखंड का युवा पलायन ना करे और गांव का युवा गांव में ही स्वरोजगार करे अपना रोजगार करे और उसके लिए हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं चाहे मत्स्य पालन का हो या मशरूम का हो या फिर मनरेगा योजना को लेकर हो और काफ़ी मात्रा में युवा आज उस पर काम कर रहा है जिससे जो है पलायन पर खासकर रोक लगी है महात्मा गांधी राष्ट्रीय ग्रामीण रोजगार गारंटी योजना के तहत दो लाख मानव दिवस सृजन के सापेक्ष नब्बे फीसदी मानव दिवस सृजित किए जा चुके हैं प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना के तहत ग्रामीण योजना के अंतर्गत सभी बेघर कच्चे और टूटे हुए मकान वाले परिवारों को वर्ष 2024 तक बुनियादी सुविधाओं के साथ पक्का आवास उपलब्ध कराने का लक्ष्य रखा गया है प्रदेश के अंतिम छोर तक बह रही है विकास की बयार उन्नति का संकल्प निभा रही है डबल इंजन की सरकार Welcome back. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami joined hands with self-help groups in weaving traditional baskets of the hilly region in Bageshwar. Dhami learned the art of basket making from farmers. While appreciating the self-help groups, the Chief Minister said, mountains are amazing, mountain products are amazing. My hills, my love.
The Haryana government has given a big gift of cashless health facility to government employees and their dependents on the occasion of New Year 2024. Governor Bandaru Dattatraya launched cashless health facility under Ayushman scheme in Chandigarh on Monday. Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar was also present on this occasion. The state government had launched the scheme on a pilot basis covering employees of two departments, namely fisheries and horticulture, to provide cashless health care facilities on November 1st, 2023, which has been extended to all regular government employees today. Chaos reigned in Maharashtra with people crowding fuel pumps to fill up their vehicle tanks, fearing a shortage of fuel as truck drivers protested against the new hit-and-run law. According to media reports, more than 70% of the estimated 1.20 lakh trucks, tempos and containers in the Mumbai metropolitan region remained off the roads on Monday. The three-day strike is likely to impact the distribution of fuel and hit fruits and vegetable supplies in the coming days. Truckers, taxi and bus operators have started a nationwide strike to oppose the provision of the rupees 7 lakh penalty and 10-year jail term for hit-and-run cases under the newly passed Bharatiya Nyay Sanhita. The All India Motor Transport Congress said these provisions, which have yet to come in force, can lead to undue harassment and must be recalled. Truck Owners Association also said that regardless of culpability, in the case of an accident, it's almost always the driver of the larger vehicle who is booked. One of the 500 truck drivers protesting at the highway at Vasai, Mangesh Patil, said the amendment is completely unfair. The drivers are also suffer grievous injuries in accidents, but there is no one to intervene on their behalf, the protester said. Terming the new provisions for enhanced punishment as black law, truckers said they will not load fuel or carry fruits and vegetables until the amendment is withdrawn. The oil tanker drivers, for instance, say if they had rupees 7 lakh with them, they would have brought their own vehicles and not remain drivers, said Anand Sharma, president of the All JNK Petrol Tanker Owners Association and JNK Fuel Station Owners Association. And that was all for this hour's bulletin. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Hornbill TV. Goodbye. News is more than mere information.